beloved brothers and sisters in Christ as we navigate the challenges of daily life, it's vital to prioritize ending each day in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Amid busy schedules and endless tasks, it's easy to miss the sacred pause that nighttime offers, a chance to reflect, reconnect, and draw nearer to God's presence. Imagine how restful and fulfilling your nights could become if you spent a few moments in heartfelt conversation with the Holy Spirit before sleep. By doing so, you invite His peace into your heart, seek His wisdom for tomorrow, and embrace the comfort of His presence throughout the night. Today, I want to introduce you to a simple yet powerful practice, speaking three meaningful words to the Holy Spirit before bed. This habit can deepen your spiritual journey, strengthen your connection with God, and fill your nights with His peace and assurance. Let's explore this beautiful tradition together and make it a treasured part of our evening routine. The first step is to say, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Gratitude is a transformative act that opens our hearts to God's blessings. By expressing thanks, we acknowledge the Holy Spirit's guidance, presence, and care throughout the day. It's more than a routine. It's a heartfelt recognition of His faithfulness. Take a moment to reflect on your day. Were there instances where you felt His quiet encouragement, experienced peace in a difficult moment, or recognized His hand in a decision you made? As Psalm 100 verse 4 reminds us, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Gratitude isn't merely an action. It's a heart posture that draws us closer to God. Consider the story in Luke 17, where Jesus healed ten lepers but only one, a Samaritan, returned to give thanks. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? This story shows that gratitude is more than courtesies. It is a spiritual acknowledgement of God's work in our lives. Even in difficult times, there's always a reason to be grateful. Did He give you strength during a trial, comfort you in loneliness, or provide wisdom when you needed it most? As Paul encourages us in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. No matter how your day unfolds, there is always an opportunity to end it with thanksgiving, recognizing His presence and embracing His love. Gratitude reminds us of God's constant goodness. As you get ready to sleep tonight, think about this. When you thank the Holy Spirit, you're not only recognizing His work in your life, but also inviting His peace and presence into your heart. David's words in Psalm 103 verse 2 say, Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all His benefits. This reminds us that giving thanks helps us stay focused on God's faithfulness. Before you rest, simply say, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank Him for guiding you, protecting you, and filling your day with His peace. Acknowledge His love, His strength, and the way He has walked with you through every moment. This small but meaningful habit can turn your nights into moments of peace, allowing you to wake up renewed, knowing He is always with you. The next step is to say, Forgive me, Holy Spirit. These words aren't just a routine. They're a way to embrace humility and seek restoration. Every day, despite our best efforts, we fall short. Maybe it's a harsh word spoken, impatience shown, or a missed opportunity to do good. Even small things can weigh on our hearts. By asking the Holy Spirit for forgiveness, we acknowledge our need for His grace. The Bible assures us in 1 John 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, our sins, and purify us, our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. This promise reminds us that God meets our confession not with condemnation, but with mercy. Think of the story of the prodigal son in Luke 15. After making many wrong choices, the son returns to his father not to find anger, but love. His father runs to him, embraces him, and celebrates his return. That's how God responds to us when we confess our sins. 
with open arms and forgiveness. Maybe today didn't go as planned. Perhaps you regret something you said, skipped time in prayer, or struggled with a hidden fault. Whatever it is, you don't have to carry it into tomorrow. Jesus declared on the cross, it is finished John 19 verse 30. Through his sacrifice, forgiveness is complete and the Holy Spirit helps you experience that freedom every day. End your day by saying, forgive me, Holy Spirit, and rest in the assurance that God's grace is always enough. When we say, forgive me, Holy Spirit, we're doing more than speaking words. We're letting go of our burdens and inviting His healing power into our lives. This act of confession isn't about guilt. It's about finding freedom. King David understood this deeply when he prayed in Psalm 51. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. After his sin with Bathsheba, David didn't run from God. He ran toward him asking for forgiveness and renewal. The result was a restored relationship with God and a powerful testimony of His grace. Tonight, as you pray or quietly reflect before bed, think about your day. Where did you stumble? Where did you fall short? Don't let those moments weigh on your heart. Bring them to the Holy Spirit and say, forgive me. Lay everything at Jesus' feet, trusting that His sacrifice has already covered it. Confession isn't a burden, it's a gift. It restores your soul, renews your strength, and sets you free. Imagine waking up tomorrow feeling unburdened, refreshed, and ready to embrace the day with a clean slate. That's what the Holy Spirit offers through His forgiveness. Let tonight be your moment to release the weight, experience His restoration, and prepare your heart for tomorrow. As 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Through his forgiveness, you are made new again and again. So tonight, don't hold back. Say, forgive me, Holy Spirit, and embrace the peace and freedom that come from his grace. Rest in his mercy and let your heart be renewed for a new day, filled with his presence. The next step is to say, guide me. Holy Spirit. These words are an act of trust, surrendering your plans and asking for His wisdom and direction. When you pray this, you invite Him to lead not just your waking moments, but your thoughts, your dreams, and the deepest places of your heart. It's a way of saying, I need you, Lord. I can't do this on my own. Where in your life do you need His guidance? Are you struggling financially, unsure of how to move forward? Perhaps you're feeling lost in your career, uncertain about the next step. Maybe it's a relationship, a marriage, a friendship, or a family connection that feels strained and needs God's wisdom. Or perhaps you're simply going through a tough season, longing for clarity and peace in the midst of the chaos. Whatever it is, trust that the Holy Spirit knows your needs and is ready to guide you. Surrender your worries to Him and rest knowing He is working in ways you may not yet see. The Bible is full of promises about God's guidance for those who seek it. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. This verse isn't just comforting, it's a guide for life. When we ask the Holy Spirit to lead us, we let go of control. Trusting His wisdom is far greater than ours. Think about the Israelites in the wilderness as told in Exodus. For 40 years, they wandered, unsure of their destination, yet God never left them without direction. He guided them with a cloud by day and fire by night, Exodus 13. Even in their uncertainty, God's presence was clear. In the same way, no matter how lost you feel, God's guidance is always available. Consider King Solomon. When tasked with leading God's people, he didn't ask for riches or power. Instead, he prayed for wisdom and guidance, and God granted his request 1 Kings 3, verse 7 to 12. Solomon's story shows us that when we seek God's help, he listens 
and delights in showing us the way. Your challenges, big or small, are never beyond the Holy Spirit's care. Are you struggling with financial decisions? Remember the widow in 1 Kings 17. During a famine, she obeyed God's instructions through the prophet Elijah, and her supplies never ran out. Even when God's guidance doesn't seem logical, trust that He can provide in miraculous ways. Are you looking for direction in your work? Look at Peter in Luke 5. After fishing all night without success, Jesus told him to cast his net on the other side of the boat. Peter obeyed, and his nets were filled to overflowing. The Holy Spirit can guide you to unexpected opportunities if you're willing to listen and trust. Maybe it's your relationships that feel uncertain. Think of Ruth, who followed Naomi's advice to stay near Boaz. Her obedience and faith in God's plan led her to a place of love, security, and a key role in the lineage of Christ Ruth for. The Holy Spirit can bring healing, restoration, and purpose to your relationships, just as He did for Ruth. God's guidance doesn't always come in dramatic ways. Often, it's a quiet whisper in your heart, like Elijah experienced in 1 Kings 19. God wasn't in the wind, earthquake, or fire, but in a gentle voice. In the same way, the Holy Spirit will guide you through your worries and uncertainties with calm and steady direction. Trust Him to lead you. He knows the way. Tonight, as you get ready for bed, take a moment to say, Guide me, Holy Spirit. Bring your worries to Him, whether they're about finances, work, family, or personal struggles, and trust that He will lead you. In John 16, verse 13, Jesus promises, when the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. This is not just a comforting thought. It's a guarantee. Picture yourself waking up tomorrow with clarity, peace, and a renewed sense of purpose, knowing that the Holy Spirit is guiding you every step of the way. Whatever challenges you're facing, He knows them and is ready to walk through them with you. Let go of the weight you're carrying tonight and let His wisdom and presence fill your heart as you sleep. He will prepare you for a new day filled with light and direction. Before we end, I want to share the reassuring words of Psalm 91, a reminder of God's protection and constant presence. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. As you reflect on these words, imagine the Holy Spirit surrounding you with His peace and protection. Trust that no matter what lies ahead, God is your safe place, and His love for you will never fail. Nighttime is a special moment, a chance to pause, reflect, and reconnect with the Holy Spirit. As the day ends, we have the opportunity to align our hearts with God, inviting His presence to bring peace, restoration, and guidance. By praying these three powerful prayers before bed, you can deepen your relationship with the Holy Spirit and prepare your heart for a new day. Gratitude is one of the most powerful ways to open your heart to God. Acknowledging the blessings, big or small, that you've received during the day helps you recognize His presence and care in your life. Let's close in prayer. Holy Spirit, thank you for your guidance, love, and presence throughout this day. Thank you for protecting me for giving me strength in moments of weakness and for comforting me when I felt burdened. I am grateful for the ways you work in my life, both seen and unseen. Thank you for the opportunities I had today to grow, to serve, and to experience your blessings. Thank you for my family, my friends, and all those you've placed in my life as a source of support and joy. I thank you for the moments of peace for the wisdom you've given me, and for the strength to face challenges. Even in difficult times, I see your hand at work, 
and I trust in your plans for my life. Holy Spirit, I praise you for always being with me, for never leaving or forsaking me. Help me to live each day with a heart full of gratitude, recognizing your goodness in all things. Amen. Amen. Every day we fall short of God's perfect will. A prayer for forgiveness isn't about guilt or shame, but about surrendering our burdens and receiving the Holy Spirit's cleansing and renewal. Holy Spirit, I come before you with a humble heart asking for your forgiveness. I know I have made mistakes today through my words, actions, and even thoughts that were not pleasing to you. Forgive me for the moments when I let anger, impatience, or selfishness take over. Forgive me for the times I failed to show love, compassion, or understanding to others. I ask for your grace to cleanse me and make me whole again. Lord, I lay all my burdens and regrets at your feet. I release the guilt and shame that tries to hold me back, knowing that your forgiveness is complete and unchanging. Your word promises in 1 John 1 verse 9 that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive and purify us. I trust in your mercy and the sacrifice of Jesus, which covers all my sins, past, present, and future. Holy Spirit, help me to walk in righteousness and renew my heart each day. Amen. Ending your day by seeking the Holy Spirit's guidance sets the foundation for clarity, peace, and purpose as you prepare for tomorrow. Holy Spirit, I ask for your guidance as I lay down to rest. You know every detail of my life, my struggles, my hopes, and my uncertainties. I surrender all my worries to you tonight, the decisions I need to make, the challenges I face, and the paths I am unsure of. I trust in your infinite wisdom and your plan for my life. Teach me to lean not on my own understanding, but to trust you in all things. Lord, guide my thoughts as I sleep. If there is something you wish to reveal to me, speak to my heart in the quiet moments of the night. Direct my steps for tomorrow and give me the courage to follow your will. Whether it's in my work, my relationships, or my personal walk with you, show me the way to go. Let your light shine on my path and let your peace fill my heart, knowing that you are in control. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, as this day comes to an end, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude, repentance, and trust. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with me throughout the day. Thank you for protecting me, for providing for me, and for giving me strength when I needed it. Thank you for the lessons you've taught me and the blessings you've got me and the blessings you've given me. Even in challenges, I see your hand at work and I praise you for your faithfulness. Forgive me for the times I have fallen short today. I am sorry for the moments when I acted out of selfishness, fear, or frustration. Cleanse me, Holy Spirit, and renew my heart. I release all guilt and regret to you knowing that through Jesus' sacrifice, I am made new. Thank you for your forgiveness and grace. Holy Spirit, I ask for your guidance as I prepare for tomorrow. Lead me in your truth and wisdom. Show me the steps I should take and give me the strength to follow your will. Help me to trust in your plan, even when I don't understand it. Fill my heart with peace tonight and let me rest knowing that you are in control. Thank you for your love, your care, and your presence in my life. I place myself in your hands, trusting that you will watch over me as I sleep and prepare me for a new day filled with your light and direction. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the person reading this right now. I ask that your presence surround them tonight, just as your word promises. May they rest under your sheltering wings, free from fear and worry. Lord, guide their steps, renew their strength, and fill their hearts with your peace. 
the Holy Spirit moves powerfully in their lives, granting them wisdom, love, and joy. Protect them and draw them closer to you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for spending this time with me. By embracing these three prayers, thanking the Holy Spirit, seeking forgiveness, and asking for guidance, you're inviting God's transformative power into your life. These simple practices align your heart with His will and deepen your relationship with Him. These prayers are more than words. They are a way to open your heart to the Holy Spirit's presence and work in your life. By thanking Him, you acknowledge His faithfulness. By seeking His forgiveness, you allow Him to cleanse and restore you. By asking for His guidance, you invite Him to lead you in the way you should go. Make these prayers a part of your nightly routine, and you'll experience greater peace, clarity, and a deeper connection with God. As you close each day with the Holy Spirit, you'll find yourself waking up with a renewed sense of purpose and strength to face whatever comes your way. Remember, the Holy Spirit is always with you, ready to comfort, guide, and empower you. Trust Him and let Him fill your heart with His peace and presence every night. If this message has encouraged you, please like, share, and subscribe to help spread the love and peace of the Holy Spirit. Let's share His light with the world. As you rest tonight, let the promises of Psalm 91 bring comfort to your heart. God is watching over you. Good night, and may His peace be with you always. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to be updated whenever we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.